Hey guys, Zvalid here, back again with another review, and today we are having a look at the Marvel Legends Series 13, the Onslaught Build-A-Figure Wave. Today we're having a look at Green Goblin. Now I gotta say, compared to that piece of crap Toy Biz Legends I reviewed last time, War Machine, uh, this guy is not too bad, not too shabby. Uh, he comes with, of course, the bath part. I can't remember if it was a leg or an arm. I think it might have been an arm. No, I think it was the other leg. Uh, but here is the comic book. And it's got uh, Spider-Man fighting him on it. It was something to do with... Uh, Gwen Stacy, is this the one where she died? Huh, maybe, I finished off Gwen Stacy. Hmm. Interesting, I'll have to look into that. Um, but of course he comes on a glider. Why wouldn't he? Well, unless Hasbro made him. Yes! Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll just take him off for now, so we can cover the figure. The glider is not too, too much. Just lie him down. i got to pose him anyway. The glider's not too much. It's just a glider. I uh, can't really pull it apart, so it's just a glider, so it's stuck on the base. Um, it's got a little thruster there. And, uh, little things where his feet go. I had to assemble this freaking thing. This middle part two wings, this little stand, and this base were all five parts. That's a lot. So, pretty cool glider. Kind of wish the wings were out more, but can't have everything. Whoa, sit there, bucko. Um, I'm getting him straightened out here. It's all discombobulated on that glider, which I don't know if I'll be able to display him with that. But, uh, would be nice. Now, I think it was a similar figure released in the uh, Sinister Six set. I don't think it was this exact one. But it was very, very similar. Where's the stinking hinge? Here. There it is. Is how far down it goes? It's kind of lame. Okay, no. <laughs> there we go. Uh... And then straighten his waist out, straighten that, straighten out his head. Is this thing on a wire? thought it might have been on a wire. So I saw it in various poses online, but I guess it's not. Whatever. Um, <clears throat> shut down, shut down. And there we have it. Green Goblin. All straightened out. Well... Now he is, and uh, oh, a little bit of a loose ankle there, probably from being on that glider for so long. Uh, but before we have a look at him, do a quick size comparison with Blackheart. It's uh, obviously a little bigger. <laughs> a whole head bigger than he is, so he's probably about the standard Marvel Legend size. That's probably why he's falling over. His leg is a little kinked outward. We'll fix that quick. Ah, there we go. Mm. We'll just put that one out. There we go. 
fixed and ready to be reviewed. There. Jeez, it takes a while to get this guy straight now, but articulation on this guy. <clears throat> He's got a swivel on the head, which is also uh, hinged, so it can move up and down. He's got an ab crunch, a ratcheted waist. His shoulders move in and out, not going to move them, but they do move forward and back as well. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, I can bend that far. Uh, and he's also got a swivel with the gauntlet, the glove really. Uh, hinge at the wrist, opening fingers on this hand, as well as over here, which kind of surprised me. Because he's got the pumpkin bomb that's permanently attached, which I like that. I don't know. Oh, about you, but I like that. Uh, but he's got uh, T-jointed hips, the swivel in the uh, thigh, double-jointed knees, a swivel in the boot, and a hinge at the ankle, hinge at the toe, and I think he had a bit of a rocker. Not too, too much, though. But that is it. His articulation. And I guess that's as far in as they go. Uh, trying to straighten them out all the way is kind of tricky. Let's see here. Yeah, kink the ankle back. Maybe it's because I'm just on a higher angle. So he will be doing that. No, he just wants to fall, so... Something there right here. There's a disturbance in the force here, and I can't figure it out. There we go. And then his little bag dealy there is a separate piece. Um, and this guy stands around... Let's see here. About... Yeah, around six inches. There's a little cut off there on the ruler, but uh stands about six and a quarter. A little over that maybe. But yeah, he's a standard figure. Uh I'd say get him if you can find him cheap. He's not a cheap figure. I wanted him mostly for the onslaught piece, but he is a cool character nonetheless. Very nineties T V show reminiscent in that regard but that is all I'm gonna say for this one guys I'm gonna give this guy a 9 cause he is pretty freaking solid so I'd say get him great figure so with that in mind guys hope you enjoyed this review stay tuned we'll be doing more Marvel Legends as the days go on and uh, hopefully we will eventually complete Onslaught so Looking forward to that, and also, if you haven't already, check out the Monster of the Bloodbath Lagoon, provider of the intro, and uh, check him out. does a lot of similar stuff, more or less select and uh, DC collectibles, but still, and I heard he's going to go back to doing some more spawn, so looking forward to that. But check him out, link will be in the description below, and uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Until next time, I will catch you guys later.